Welcome back. It is a beautiful fall afternoon, evening. We only got about an hour left to light here. Today's video, we got sales coming up. And first off sale for the ACC crappie sticks. I don't think ACC has ever done a sale like this before. 15% off. Yes, 15% off. The video today is gonna be catching crappie. I actually filmed this last weekend, but I was using the six foot one piece. Yes, you asked for it. They delivered a one piece rod, both a six foot and a six and a half. You can save 15% off by using code flopping15. Yep, flopping15 gets you 15% off. On sale now, it's only good for one week. So as soon as you see the video, you got one week until this video, from after this video post to use that discount code, get yourself 15% off at ACC Crappie Sticks. I got a question about two weeks ago asking, you know, what, what do I do about crappie towards the later part of fall here? Are there, am I still gonna be able to find them somewhat shallow? Are they move out deeper? What, what's going on? And today we got water temps 44, 44 degrees, kind of cold. Um, when I filmed this video, I think water temps were still in the low to mid fifties, but you'll notice I had to find crappie in deeper water. And the reason is a lot of these fish this time of year, a lot of the crappie anyway, the vast majority of them are gonna push off to that hard to soft bottom transition. On river systems like I'm fishing today, they're actually gonna set up on any type of cover in deeper water. And when I say deeper, I'm looking for like 15, 20, maybe 22 foot. They're not gonna push off to that wintering basin just yet. That's, that's December time frame. Even for us up north, we're still gonna be able to find them on that hard to soft bottom transition on our natural lakes. On these river systems, I'm looking for steeper drop-offs. I can still probably catch a few in that 10 to 12 foot range, but the fish that I was finding in let's say five to 10 feet, they're just not there anymore. They pushed off to a little bit deeper water trying to find a little bit warmer water, most likely, and they're just following their food source. The crappie are gonna start to feed, if they haven't fed up entirely on shad, they're gonna start to feed on the bottom, um, especially as we got cold fronts coming through. The last couple days in the mornings up north here has been like in the 20s, low 30s. Um, so that'll push these crappie actually lower in the water column. So if they're in 12 feet of water, they'll just be bellies on the bottom and they'll actually be feeding on insect larvae. Um, so, this is what I'm doing, using side imaging, trying to find these fish in a little bit deeper water as they transition. Um, basically, as the water temps drop, they're gonna start pushing out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm finding these fish using the side imaging. Um, you can find them both shallow and deep, and shallow is relative, 10 to 12 feet. Deep is, let's say, 15 to 22 feet. They're not gonna be in that 25 foot range just yet. So be sure, click the links. I got a bunch of discount codes in the video description, but be sure to check out ACC Crappie Sticks. Let's get to catching some crappie. Oh, there is a fish on it. Come on, buddy. That's a good crappie too. What are you doing? That's a good fish. Dang. Maybe they don't want black and chartreuse. Maybe they want some more of a natural pattern. Oh, there he is. That's a super light bite. Wow. If this is a crappie, this is a good one. Yeah, I'll take that. Going in a live well, dude. Crappie number one in the live well. Let's see if we can get a bunch more. There's so many fish right below the boat right now. Drop down there and catch them. Working on it. Oh, here comes a. He coming up? No, he's not coming up. I thought about it. Here we go. Probably should tighten up the drag a little bit. And yeah, he'll fry up good. Maybe not. What are we thinking? Yes, no. I think we can catch some bigger fish. Yeah, you know what, fry them up, hell with it. I can always freeze them for later. I did have a qu couple questions about using side imaging in shallow water, the video I just posted last night actually. And a uh, couple questions came up about like lower price units, your Garmin Striker series, your Lowrance Hook, your Helix 5 or 7. 
and the quality of being able to read, or I guess the screen, the screen quality when you're in shallow water. Come on, fella, I can see you. You're chasing. And does it affect? Oh, there he is. Hold on, let's land this smallmouth. They're hitting right on that hesitation. He's a decent fish. Come here, buddy. But I will admit, it, you know, the higher priced screens are going to show up a little bit better in shallow water when you're scanning for those stumps. He's a decent chunker. They get, they get a lot bigger in this river, that's for sure. He's a decent little chunker. He's probably about a 14. See, you, bud. But if you, I still recommend getting a side imaging unit, even if it's only a five, six hundred dollar unit, because you're going to be able to utilize it in a lot of different situations, a lot more situations than you would just down imaging. And you guys saw that with seeing walleye behind those stumps in like four to five foot of water. It's super useful. And especially in deeper water. I mean, you guys see, found these crappie here stacked up on this. These old dock pilings, they're just loaded. No, don't scare away from the winds. Here we go. Yep. That's a light bite. But it's a good crappie. Good river crappie. It's gonna fry up good tonight. Or actually, for lunch ish. Late lunch. We're gonna call it a late lunch. What time is it right now? One o'clock? Yeah, we'll call it a late lunch. There he is. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. There's our good crappie. I don't know if we're going to fry him up, but we're going to take a couple pictures with him. That. That's the river crappie we came after. But they are short striking the crap out of it. I don't know, we, it's a fairly warm day. It's like 60 degrees out, but water temps are in the 50s. They should be hitting it a lot harder. I don't know, could be going through some turnover right now. Can throw him in the live well for right now. There he is. That's a better fish, I think. Yeah, that feels like a better crappie. Dirt. Yeah, I better I better net him. It's too good of a fish. He choked it too. That is another crappie that we came after today. Look at that. Look at that. He inhaled that bait. These other ones are short striking the heck out of it. There we go. Might keep him anyway. That's a good fish. Oh, please be a crappie. Yes, it is. <laughs> good one to end it on tonight. Throwing a big bait too. You think these crappie are hungry? See, this is one of the shallow guys. I'm in about 12 feet of water right now. That's a big bait. It's a three inch crappie monster. Discount code in the video description. But be sure to uh, go to acccrappiesticks.com. Get yourself some discounts. Flopping 15, 15% off the entire website. Check out the one piece rods, but anything you wanna, you wanna get, jig heads, crappie sticks or the crappie snacks pick them up right now but that's pretty much what i'm going to be doing this fall is focusing on any type of cover actually let's see if i can show you this piece of cover right there just found it 12 feet of water and any type of cover and it drops right off into uh, a deeper channel um, on these river systems that's where I'm, I'm going to be looking 
for, for most of the fall through probably up until ice up. And even at ice up, like first part of December, these crappie are still gonna be right on that break on our natural lakes. They're gonna be that hard to soft bottom transition, which typically could be where the weed line ends. So they're gonna be right on that edge. Um, but they're not going to push off into the basin or for those of you down south that fish the reservoirs they're not going to push off into the creek channels until later this winter so right now i'm focusing on the breaks if you're fishing the reservoir systems focus on the edge of the creek channels um, that's pretty much where they're going to be now until basically december time frame so appreciate you watching as always i'm going to keep trying to crank out as many videos as i can again save yourself some money pick up a new rod shop early pick up your Christmas gift for either yourself or your friend and check out acccropsticks.com. Got any comments or questions about gear I was using or how I found the fish, post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. We'll see you in the next one.